You guys wanted to see a Temi Trash Talks Your Art, so that's what we're getting today. <laughs> so I hope you're ready. Let's go. Hey people, it's Temi if you're new here and it's Tuesday today but it is not time for a Temi tirade because today we're going to do the first Temi Trash Talks Your Art. So I asked you guys on my community tab on YouTube to hashtag Teminators for one piece of your art and first I'd just like to say some of you guys don't know how to follow instructions <laughs> because some of you did not just tag one piece of art but the skill level, the talent, I am here for it and I've chosen a few that I'm going to speak about in this video. So if you're new around here I do colour pencil portraits so that's where my skill level lies but I'm sure this video will be useful for you even if you use other media or if your art wasn't chosen. So I've got my phone here, so I'll be looking down. So let's go. And the first one we've got is from Jackson Levy Art. And we have the Joker. So this is really nice. I think you've done a good job of capturing the likeness. You can instantly tell it's him. So your proportions are really nice. And also good job with your values around the eyes. So you've got, you know, the really dark point. So you're not scared to go deep with your shadows around the eyes. So well done for that. For improvement, I would just say pay attention to detail. So you want to be able to bring back the highlight point. So use an eraser so use a kneaded eraser get it to a sharp point or cut up a normal eraser <laughs> and just use it to really draw in the highlights so for example you can put back some highlights in his blazer to separate it from the shirt you know some highlights near the tie just to bring back details also for the hair so you've kind of just got it all in one value and values look at the lights and dark in the piece but you've got like just one mid-tone and I think what you're really missing out is the shadows in the hair and the highlights in the hair as well but overall I think you've done a great job this looks like a nice base layer, but bringing out the highlights will really enhance the drawing. Now we have Moslemart. I probably said that wrong. And this is very nice. So I really love the colours. Dark skin is not easy and you have done a fine job with this. Really nice composition. I like the attention that's coming from her eyes. You know, the really intense look. I think you captured that beautifully. And yeah, I think overall you've done an amazing job. To improve with the background, especially with the browns you have at the bottom, it feels a little saturated and it feels like it's blending in a little bit to the skin. So if you have a tiny bit of variation with the tone or the saturation, that you pick for the background that might help the face to stand out even more. And then also, I forgot to mention this in the positives, I think you captured the texture quite well. And the highlights in the skin is simply stunning. With this one, I love the detail you have in the eyes, like I mentioned, but I wish I saw a little bit more detail, a little bit more definition in the hair. I think this is digital art. And actually, it's nice to see your process. But yeah, I'm just missing a little bit of, you know, the extra finishing touches, you know? Okay, next we have... Queen K art and this is really really nice you have captured the likeness so well and it's great that you've got the side by side with the reference because that really helps me so if we do this again in the future <laughs> if you can include the reference picture that would be amazing and just looking side by side I can see that the eyes are a tiny bit off so I like to start with the eyes in my piece because I think when you capture the eyes, I think you can get away with being lazy with other details. I think in the picture, his head is angled a little bit more up, but in your drawing, I don't think you've captured that quite as well. But also something you should pay attention to, especially with references, is that the face is in focus and you've captured amazing detail in the face, like the skin, the freckles, you have aced it. But in the reference, you'll be able to see the depth of field. You've got around the shoulder, around the arm. And I think in your drawing, you could definitely do with including less of that detail so that it brings the face more into focus and great job in capturing the highlights and the texture and the jumper I know that was not easy but it's come out so nice so well done the last thing I'll say is with the highlights so with the hair it looks like you've almost left space for the highlights but an even better technique with drawing is to then go back in with an eraser or with a white pen or with an exacto knife to scrape back those sharp highlight points I think that's what really helped with the highlight strands that were missing in the hair but yeah overall a really nice drawing okay so next we have Anna Draws 03. And Anna, girl, hands are so difficult. So many artists avoid hands. I <laughs> avoid hands. And you have done an amazing job. An amazing job. Great level of detail. The black background also helps the colours to stand out. The vibrancy of the colours. You have done so well with a variety of skin tones. Most artists just stick to what they know and you have just done an amazing job in one piece. And I like that you included a black and white photograph. It really allows you to appreciate the values. You have captured such great lights and darks, like the highlights, the detail, the veins, girl. So for improvement, the first thing that comes to mind is this hand. And I know hands have, you know, different colour veins. We're going to see a bit of green, some pink, some purples. 
But so this hand is looking a little too green to me and it's kind of hard for me to judge this without a reference. But I would say as you're adding all of those additional supplementary colors, pay attention to actually sticking to the main skin tone around it, if that makes sense. So basically don't go too far with the green. But also around the edge of the arm, so it almost feels like you used a paintbrush with black paint and you just kind of outlined around the arms, which is fine, but arms are hairy. So we wanna see a little bit of detail with the hair. So if you use like a lighter coloring pencil to just go over the edges so that it doesn't feel like this clean cut and there's just a little bit more detail there. But hands are incredibly difficult to do and you have done it, so well done. Okay, and now we've got Daniel Vella Art. This is very nice. Oh, I am here for it. The smoothness of the skin. It is blended beautifully. Is this graphite or charcoal? I think you have just captured this person's essence, the portrait, very nicely. And great job with the hair. Afro textured hair is not easy, but you've captured it so nicely with the overall shape of the hair, but also around the edges where, you know, some of it is a little bit see-through, but then you can see some defined curls aced it, absolutely aced it. And actually it's great to see it side by side. So once again, it's nice to have the reference here. And the first thing that kind of comes to mind is the eyebrows. So eyebrows don't just start as like a block, you know, they kind of fade in. And this is telling me that maybe you're not a makeup user. <laughs> and maybe that's me jumping to conclusions and judging. But yeah, when people do makeup, you know, you don't just put a block and it's the same with drawing. You kind of fade it in a little bit. And actually looking at this drawing side by side with the reference, the drawing is making me feel like you've rendered a lighter skin person than what the reference is showing me. So this is just to say, don't be afraid to go deeper with the shadows. And you definitely started off well. So there's, you know, the hint around the jawline, but you can see that the jawline on the reference is really dark. So don't be afraid to push through and get even deeper shadows just to intensify the values. And also on the face, it looks like you've got really nice mid-tones, but the shadows is really what will make her look like this dark skin beauty that she is. And then the final thing is around the chest. And I don't love drawing chest, but again, with just going deeper with the shadows and really bringing out all of the detail. But you have done an amazing job, so well done. Okay, next we have My Fan Art 02. This is a colour pencil piece and beautiful. You have captured the colour. This green is looking luscious. The lip gloss is popping. Lime is looking delicious. Actually, lime is not delicious. <laughs> it's looking juicy. The lime is looking juicy. You've really gone ham with that white pen and I'm feeling the glow, the gloss. Everything is looking good. The only thing I would say is the teeth. So teeth aren't complete white and you have captured some of the shadows quite well but you might have gone a little bit too far with the shadows. So maybe you used a gray that was too dark and then you couldn't come back. Um, just pay attention to that a little bit. And also the teeth won't just be white, so it wouldn't just be gray shadows. There'll be a little bit of pink because of the gum. There might be some green because of the lip gloss, you know, so pay attention to the reference a little bit more. And then finally the gums. So the gums are just kind of this even pink color, but right under the top lip, there will be some more shadows there as well. So it wouldn't just be pink from the go. But for the lips and the actual line, you have just captured those amazingly, so well done. Next we have Oil Paint 8. And I really love this. I really love the composition, the color, colors, even the angle. I love the makeup. You know, I love coloring makeup. I love the nose. Those shadows are very nicely done. Very nicely done. So for improvements, I would say with skin blending, to me, you can definitely add another layer of colors on top of this. So I speak a lot about layering with coloring pencils. And I love that you were quite bold with the colors, but when you're coloring, you want to pay attention to the direction you're shading. So you don't just want to shade in one direction. And when you're layering, when you want to blend colors, you want to blend in circular motions because that helps with the blend. So on her chest where you've just kind of got it in one direction, you don't want that. And also in the hair. So you kind of want to follow the shape and the motion of the hair. You don't just want to shade it in one direction. Also with this hand, there's something about it that looks a little bit off to me. So is, is it her hand? Is it someone else's hand she's leaning on? I can't really tell. Yeah, I don't know if it's the size of the hand or the position or the, yeah. I'm not really understanding the hand. And then also the shadows in the hand. But yeah, well done with the drawing. Now we have Art by Natasha and Beth is looking sweet. She's looking like a sweet one. You have captured Beth beautifully. I can easily tell it's her. So you have captured the likeness really well. Well done. And have you guys seen Queen's Gambit? I really love that show. But this is rendered beautifully. The hair, the glow, the colours. You have captured light and motion very nicely. Even the material. Is this a tunic? The texture. 
I am here for the texture, so well done, well done. But for improvement, I can definitely tell it's her, but there's something about the proportions that are a little bit off. And I think it's on her left side. The lips, I think that corner of the lip should be a little bit higher, maybe. And I appreciate it's very difficult to draw from different angles. So you have, so you've done a great job. But there's something about that side of her face that looks a little bit off to me. And then for the skin, so you don't want to use blacks for shadows or greys for shadows you know you want to use purples you want to bring in blues bring in greens bring in pinks that's what really makes the skin start to look dynamic and makes it look alive so when you want a dark and flesh tone don't just add brown or black and of course do what you want <laughs> but to improve this drawing you could definitely add more of those colors and if you're confused about which colors to use or which colors to add i have a video about how i color different skin tones and i go through four different skin tones so i'll link the video here and you can just take a look and i talk through the entire process and how i add all the greens or the blues you know a bit of purple i think it will definitely help you if you struggle with your skin tones okay next we have masante this is simply beautiful beautiful i love stylized work she is absolutely gorgeous i love the top i love the vibrancy of all the colors i love the background like the blend of the background the clouds the glow of yellow i am here for this drawing i am so here for this drawing and it's kind of hard for me to give this criticism because stylized pieces, a lot of it comes down to like personal taste. But I would say for the hair, so instead of having just a shape and then it filled in and then shadows and stuff, maybe if you had like curlier strands at the end, just to make the ends look a little bit more alive. <laughs> I don't know. And then also, but maybe shadowing behind her so that it doesn't look like she's just stuck in front of this background so that the background and the subjects look like they're part of the same piece. But honestly, the colors, everything beautiful. Chef's kiss. Okay, next we have Ranzi Draws, and this is amazing. Mr. King, he's looking incredible. The blend of the skin, you have captured light incredibly, amazingly. I love that the background is shaded so we can really appreciate the highlights on the right side of his face. And even this section on his left side, that's something that's very difficult to do where you're trying to put a highlight next to a shadowed area, but you have aced it. You have absolutely aced it. So for improvement points, I would say maybe focus on having sharper edges. So to me, this drawing looks very soft, but it's given me a blurry vibe. It's given me my glasses aren't quite on right. And it's obviously you use some sort of blending aid to get really smooth skin. And I think the skin is incredible, but maybe around the edges. So if you use um, a sharper eraser or if you use a harder pencil, so not necessarily on the H scale, but if you use like a B or a 2B pencil just around the edges so that it's just a little bit sharper, I think that would help to really bring it into focus. I really hope you understand what I mean. But overall, likeness, values, you have got it down. <laughs> so well done. Okay, next we have Space Boy Robin. And you have done a great job capturing likeness. I can tell instantly this is Lionel Richie. The proportions, everything is very nicely done. The clothes, very nicely done. The jewelry, I think you captured his skin color really nicely as well. For improvements, you wanna pay attention to the blend of the skin a little bit more. I think if you add one more layer on top of this, you really be able to get a really nice vibrant covering of the skin. But also don't be scared to get deeper shadows. So when I look at the face, the darkest points are his eyebrows and his mustache are so dark that then his face looks very pale. So you don't have enough shadows. So those purples I spoke about, those blues, you wanna get a better range of values in his actual face and not just like his facial hair. So yeah, my improvement point for you is just to build confidence with adding the shadows. Really pay attention to where they fall. Below the jawline, you don't want that mid-tone brown. You want deeper shadows there. And you know, around the creases, around the perimeter of his head there, there's some bits that you know you could definitely go a little bit further with the shadows okay now we have the first non-portrait piece and this is spicy fanta arts beautiful colors beautiful colors this just gives me such calming vibes it's a very aesthetic and pleasing great blend for the background and i love that for the silhouettes of the trees you didn't just use black you know i can see the blues i really appreciate the reds it gives it very nice dimension so well done for that it's kind of hard for me to critique non-portrait pieces but i guess what comes to mind for me with this piece is I appreciate the fireflies that I can see in the bottom part of the piece but maybe if there was some other details in the top half I don't know if there'll be clouds but you know it just feels a little bit empty and then like detailed but that might be a personal preference thing and also is this lantern floating 
it kind of looks like it should be leaning on the branch a little bit more more shadows i don't know but it just feels like it's kind of doing its own thing in the air but yeah an absolutely incredible painting so well done next we have arts joanna and Miss Zendaya, I can tell instantly. You know, you have done a drawing well, so when someone can just look at it and be like, yes! You have captured the likeness amazingly. The proportions, nicely done. The eyebrows, I appreciate good eyebrows on a drawing. You know, I love drawing makeup. I'm here for this a blend of the eyebrow. I'm so here for it. And the lips, the detail, the shadows, I think you've captured that very nicely. Also, nice job on the skin color. I think you've done a really nice skin blend as well. And same with her hair. You've definitely captured the hair well. The only thing I'll say about the hair is don't be afraid to go even deeper to try to get more movement in the hair. So add more shadows, more deeper shadows, add more bright highlights. And then for the skin, for the shadows, don't be afraid to add more dynamic colors. So don't just use brown and a darker brown and another darker brown for the shadows. You know, those purples I've been speaking about all video. <laughs> you wanna add all of these other colors to intensify the values. Okay, now we have the Dreaming Sunflower Life. And you have done a really nice job. I'm here for the colors. And is this paint? Yeah, acrylics, acrylics on canvas. Really nice composition. Really love the hair. I think his waves and her braids, you can really see the texture, which gives me the vibe of you just applying the thick paint and I just love the texture. I think it's amazing. I also really like the blue background. I think that color really complements the piece, but it's a really cool effect as well. I'm not sure if it's meant to be water, but it's a really cool effect and I'm really here for it. Okay, for improvements, I would say pay attention to the colors on her face. So with the direction that she's leaning. So with the direction that she's leaning and how the light hits it and where the shadows hit it, just pay a little bit more attention to that. So look at the reference and see and follow it a little bit closer. But also his hands, it kind of looks like it's floating a little bit. And I think it's because you've used just a darker brown for the shadows. So just to repeat what I've been saying this morning, <laughs> You know, you want to bring in the purples and the browns. That's what really adds dimension to the drawing. It really helps you achieve depth and separation from, you know, the rest of it, especially because it's just brown on brown. Also, where is my guy's neck? <laughs> yeah, I think if you had more defined shadows below the ear, then it wouldn't feel like it's just blending in, you know? And this is me assuming that you want a more realistic style. If this is completely stylized and you're happy with everything that you've done, then that's cool but just be more intentional about the values and adding, you know, the purples and all of that to the shadows. But this is a great start. Okay, and now I'm going to finish with this one from Pegaso Draws. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> but whew, this is simply incredible. Incredible. The amount of detail. You can tell the different ages of each person. Is this painted? Oh, this is color pencils with a marker base. Wow, you have achieved an amazing painterly style. So the blend, the colors, the vibrancy, aced it, aced it. And I'm so glad we stopped on this one because I've said so much about adding, you know, the blues, the greens, the purples to the shadows. And I think this bottom piece just shows it really well. I mean, except for the detail of all the wrinkles and all of this, you can see how this colors really adds depth to the piece. This is simply amazing the detail, the highlights with the white, very intentionally placed. Amazing job, so well done. My only point of improvement will probably be with the eyelashes. So on the top eye, it looks really good. And I think the bottom eye is fine as well. But for the middle eye, you should pay attention to how eyelashes are generally thicker at the bottom and then feather out. And to be fair, this could be mascara. It's kind of hard to tell without a reference, but there's some parts of it in the corner, like it's blending into the skin a little bit, which is telling me that you maybe did the eyelashes and then went back to blend the skin a little bit, or maybe you just use coloring pencils for the lashes. And except your coloring pencils are sharp, it can start to, you know, blend out a little bit, especially if you're using really soft wax-based pencils. But a solution to that is to use markers or fine liners because you've got the very sharp point and the Stadler fine liners are amazing and it comes in a variety of colors. And you can just pick the black or whatever color you want to use brown and you can just get a really sharp point with your lashes. But this is me really nitpicking because this is a stunning, beautiful drawing. Or these are beautiful drawings. It's like it's all in one piece, you know? But it's amazing, so well done. So that is all we have time for. If you're still here, leave me red hearts with whatever you comment down in the comment section. And also let me know, did you enjoy this? Do you want me to do it again? And if I didn't get around to your work, keep using hashtag Terminators. I'll keep looking on the hashtag, liking your posts. So keep sharing them with me. Also, I might've given more compliments that you would have been expecting from a Temi trash talks, but I definitely want to encourage you 
you guys. We all started somewhere and I think it's important to look for improvement points and to try to keep growing with each of our pieces. But it's also important to appreciate where you've come from and how far you've come and the actual positives in each piece. So I hope you found this video enjoyable. I hope it was helpful for you. So please like, please subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.